Hello everyone, Jack here, and today we're going to talk about 8 times Patrick worked at the Krusty Krab. Our tubby pink friend usually doesn't have an occupation, but from time to time Mr. Krabs does hire him for cheap labor, usually when Spongebob cannot fulfill his fry cooking duties or they need another hand on deck. Unfortunately, this list does not include times like when Patrick was part of Squidward's phony restaurant, no matter how hilarious that was. May I take your hat to? May I take your hat to? May I- Alright, I've heard enough. So let's get into this nitty gritty of the crusty cookery in no particular order. Number 1, Bummer Patrick, Vacation. Patrick. Yes. In Bummer Vacation, Mr. Krabs needs Spongebob to take a vacation so he can avoid getting a fine from the Fry Cooks Union. But honestly, I'm surprised that Spongebob is part of a union. This is the only time it's mentioned. You'd think that Mr. Krabs would be a lot more cautious with the way he treats his employees. When the Yellow Sponge is on vacation, which he mainly spends trying to sneak back into work, Mr. Krabs hires an unpaid intern as a temporary replacement, Patrick Starr. Patrick even gets Spongebob's spatula and hat which he uses the former as a belly and back scratcher. At work, Patrick keeps raw patties on his skin before cooking them, and he has the grill at 297 degrees Fahrenheit, one degree less than it should be according to Spongebob. Sometime later, the Krusty Krab kitchen gets a phone call, and Patrick picks it up. Somehow, Spongebob uses the telephone line to sneak in, only to immediately fly out. After the missed call, Patrick is in the bathroom, performing sanitary duties. He screams when Spongebob appears out of one of the toilets, stating that he already cleaned that one. Eventually, Spongebob thinks that Patrick is out for his job, leading him to take care of Patrick. We see that Patrick enjoys working at the Krusty Krab, singing as he comes home from work. When he gets home, he sees a mumbling Spongebob in his abode. Spongebob acts like a complete maniac. It then cuts to black, where we find out that Spongebob told him to stay home and watch television, ending his brief unpaid employment. Number 2, Patrick, Pat No Pay. Yes. When Patrick can't pay for a Krabby Patty order, Mr. Krabs makes him work to pay for the food. To be fair, he did promise Mr. Krabs that he could pay for it. The only question is why Mr. Krabs would give him 50 or so Krabby Patties instead of just one. That's just bad business when he knows that Patrick is a deadbeat, so he puts Patrick to work with hard physical labor, but Patrick keeps messing everything up. At first, Mr. Krabs has Patrick swab the latrine, but Patrick goofs off and tries the hand soap. Then Krabs orders Patrick to put ice cube trays in a bucket. Patrick asks Krabs how to do it, but Krabs leaves him to his own devices. This indifference backfires as Patrick destroys his refrigerator and bucket in the process. Finally, Mr. Krabs has Patrick throw trash bags down the trash chute, showing him how to do it, but not telling him to hit the trash compactor. Also, he threatens Patrick with no more Krabby Patties if he messes it up, which causes Patrick to panic and he accidentally shoves a bag full of money into the trash compactor. Then the entire restaurant blows up and the episode ends, with Mr. Krabs probably shooting Patrick out of a cannon or some other punishment. Number 3, No Hat for Pat. Yes. In this story, Patrick works for Mr. Krabs so that he can get a fancy work hat. Apparently his motivation is to show up Spongebob because he's upset that Spongebob has work and cannot play with him. Conveniently, Patrick is in the right place at the right time as Mr. Krabs comes outside to try to chase tourists into the restaurant. So Mr. Krabs offers him a job to stand outside with a sign, but Patrick fails miserably at it. He directs people to the chum bucket, he fails to attract customers, and he blows tourists away. Eventually, Mr. Krabs gives in and gives Patrick a hat. Apparently, the hat makes him nervous and he forgets how to stand. Mr. Krabs sees that people enjoy watching Patrick fall and changes Patrick's job to being a sideshow buffoon, entertaining customers by falling on the ground. The act is titled The Falling Fool as Patrick spends all day falling on the ground. Landing on the hardwood floor, the Krusty Krab causes Patrick physical pain, but Mr. Krabs doesn't care. Eventually, customers get bored of Patrick's act and Mr. Krabs tries to innovate it having Patrick fall from two cardboard boxes onto a cream pie. At the end of the day, we see that Patrick sustains significant physical injuries, which causes Spongebob to be concerned. He wants to tell off Krabs for mistreating his friend, but Patrick begs him not to because he doesn't want to be a no-good bum without a hat. The next day, Mr. Krabs is up the act, with Patrick falling from a high dive onto a pile of spiny sea urchins. But Patrick takes off his hat so it won't get messed up, causing him not to fall. Mr. Krabs yells at Patrick to fall, so we ask Squidward to push him. Squidward delightfully pushes him, but Patrick doesn't fall, Squidward does. Patrick's hat falls in the air, which makes him fall too. He realizes that the hat made him top-heavy. The act fails, and the angry customers take a refund from Krabs, who angrily fires Patrick in retribution. Number 4, Restraining Spongebob. Yes! One day at the Krusty Krab, Squidward gets so driven up the wall by Spongebob that he has a restraining order filed against him. This order means that Spongebob cannot be 15 feet near Squidward and he cannot speak to him. 
Needing a middleman between his two employees, Mr. Krabs hires Patrick to fill this role. Of course, it's an unpaid position. Unfortunately for Squidward, Patrick proves to be a greater nuisance than Spongebob. First, Patrick annoys Squidward with his shiny new hat. Then we see Patrick doing his job. But between that, he bugs Squidward with following him around, where we get a montage of Patrick being Squidward's shadow, making him a nervous wreck. Trying to relax on his break, Squidward tries to play his clarinet, but it's gone. We find out that Patrick used his clarinet as a toilet plunger, greatly angering Squidward. After break, Patrick accidentally gets Squidward's nose stuck in his mouth, which leads to a series of events where Squidward gets an allergic reaction from a sea berry pie. Patrick sees Squidward's physique and thinks that the octopus is a monster that is going to attack Spongebob. However, Squidward changes the restraining order from Spongebob to Patrick, effectively ending the need for Patrick to be employed at the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Number 5, Patrick Two Thumbs pick. Down Yes. When Spongebob tears ligaments in his thumbs from repetitive use, Patrick is hired as his replacement. After a vigorous rehab, Spongebob returns to take his job back from Patrick. However, Patrick does not give in easily, challenging Spongebob to a dramatic thumb war. Spongebob wins, though. From what we do see of Patrick at the grill, it looks like he hasn't figured out the patty flipping yet, or he is just bored and hates it. Considering that he mocks Spongebob in the fry cook games for doing something as basic as patty flipping, he probably was just bored. Oh, come on, you're just flipping patties. Hey, flipping is not as easy as it sounds. Number six, Patrick, that's, that's no lady. Yes. This situation is unique because Patrick is hired while he is wearing a disguise. Thinking that a travel agent is out to get him, Patrick dons a costume so that he won't leave town. This outfit is basically him in drag, wearing a blonde wig, a tank top, and a skirt, and using the pseudonym Patricia. There's only one problem with the disguise. Everyone thinks that Patricia is hot. When Spongebob and Patrick go out on the town, Mr. Krabs sees them and becomes infatuated at first sight with Patricia. Mr. Krabs asks Spongebob if they need any help at the Krusty Krab. Spongebob replies that they don't, but Mr. Krabs answers like Spongebob said yes and hires Patricia right on the spot. Humorously, Squidward also falls for the supposed femme fatale. When she's cleaning tables, Squidward gives Patricia a drawing of himself, which Patricia then eats. Then Mr. Krabs has him bring an order to table 7, which is just an excuse to have a lunch date with Patricia. Patrick inhales the food in tablecloth. We then get a cut to Patricia in the kitchen, carrying a food tray. As he heads up to the dining area, Squidward the sizzle-lipped squid plays his clarinet and tries to get a date with him, but Patrick says that he is a staring contest with Spongebob. Shocked, Squidward stands there, but is immediately told to get back to work by Mr. Krabs, who just arrived. With the two now alone, Mr. Krabs tries to get a date with Patricia as well, which Patrick replies that he is flying submarines with Spongebob. Getting back to crusting the crab, Patrick wonders why- Man, why are those two so nice to me? Noting that they were never this nice to him when he is not in disguise. We then see a montage where Patricia turns Squidward and Mr. Krabs down four and three more times respectively. Frustrated with these persistent advances, Patrick goes to vent to Spongebob, wondering out loud why Squidward and Mr. Krabs are being so friendly. He decides that he would rather reveal his disguise than be hit on for any longer. He goes to divulge his secret to the restaurant goers, who are also enamored with her, but the travel agent arrives. The travel agent, who Spongebob and Patrick think is an assassin, offers Patrick a travel flyer, but Spongebob blurts out Patricia's real identity before that, shocking Mr. Krabs and Squidward. Relieved, Patrick rips apart his disguise, showing us the secrets of the universe. I guess you didn't want to learn the meaning of life now, Squidward. Saddened and confused by the revelation that he will be lonely again, Mr. Krabs fires the nude Patrick. Not upset by his loss of employment, Patrick goes home with Spongebob to start on their list of activities. Number 7, Patrick Boss for a Day Yes. After Spongebob causes Mr. Krabs to be injured, he becomes the boss. Mainly his promotion is due to Squidward not wanting to be in charge. Can you blame him though? Remember what happened in Squid's Day Off? I caught you now! You didn't think I knew you were a stick outside my window, huh? Or the toilet in my bathroom! And then you were in my bathtub! So Spongebob hires Patrick to work as the new fry cook, saying that he taught Patrick everything he knows. It turns out that Patrick is not a good listener though, as he does stuff like put crappy patties in his belly button and explode ketchup bottles on the grill. Eventually, Spongebob starts to micromanage Patrick, which angers him. Upset, Patrick quits, tearing off his Spongebob uniform and leaves. He does return later on to take some Krabby Patties though, but he didn't bother to put his shorts back on. Number 8, Big Pink Loser. Yes. 
Patrick works with the Krusty Krab to win an award. He ends up getting there through his own accord. When he receives an award in the mail, he is greatly excited, but it turns out that Spongebob is the actual recipient of the award. Then he accidentally opens Spongebob's closet, revealing the golden hoard of trophies that Spongebob has. Seeing all the awards that Spongebob has, he becomes sad and wants an award too. Spongebob motivates him into doing something, getting a job at the Krusty Krab. And Mr. Krabs hires him, giving him the generous pay of $50 an hour, but Patrick has to pay Mr. Krabs $50 an hour, that is. At that price, Spongebob could have just went to the trophy shop and given Patrick a phony award. And to add to the absurdity, Spongebob had to pay Mr. Krabs $100 an hour when he started working there. What a privileged employment at the Krusty Krab must be. Patrick's first duty is to carry food out to a customer, which he fails to do multiple times. The first time he eats the food on the tray at the order counter, the second time he eats it between the counter and the table, bringing the empty tray to the customer, the third time he brings the chair with the food to the table, but he eats the food after he sets it down in front of the customer. After that incident, Spongebob shifts Patrick to a different task. Then there is the Krusty Krab phone situation, where he does not understand that people are calling the restaurant, not him. After the phone calls, Patrick proves to be even more incompetent, sweeping the floor at the wrong side of a broom. During his sweeping, or should I say scraping, Spongebob receives a bunch of rewards, making him very jealous. Seeing Patrick's rage, Spongebob sweeps him into the kitchen and has him try a simple exercise, opening a jar. Humorously, he needs to be told step by step what to do, multiple times might I add. After the success of opening a jar, Patrick takes Spongebob's words, quote, do exactly as I do, end quote, to heart, and he does an extreme act of mimicry. He decides to copy everything that Spongebob does until he gets as many awards as Spongebob, dressing like him and using his mannerisms. He even goes the extra marathon and paints his house like Spongebob's pineapple. Talk about following your role model. Interestingly, on the day that Patrick copies Spongebob, we get a curious comment from the yellow sponge. He says, Well, back to the old grind. Well, back to the old grind. Well, back to the old grind. This is the only time Spongebob makes a negative comment about his work. Or maybe he enjoys the grind. You know, the struggle is real. Usually Spongebob is jubilant about working at the Krusty Krab, but maybe it's just Patrick's curious behavior that is rubbing him the wrong way. During the day, Spongebob gets increasingly annoyed with Patrick's behavior, and the two play a game of Catch the Copycat, where they chase each other from the restaurant back to their houses. Ironically, Patrick gets an award for doing nothing longer than anyone else. Working at the Krusty Krab must have broken his streak, hence why he got the award. So he goes to his rock to protect his title, presumably quitting his part-time job of paying Mr. Krabs to work. Well, that's eight times that Patrick worked at the Krusty Krab. Which time was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will deliver more Krabby content for you. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Jack out. So you thought I was kidding, huh? No, in Bikini Bottom, excellence can be found even under a rock.